Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video I am going to show you how to prepare a new gel brush. So this is the Icon IQ um, brush. It's got a lovely soft handle which becomes the cap. And this brush is like nothing I've seen before. That shine there on the bristles it just shows the sheer quality of the hairs. I have had brushes from the best of the best gel brands that were sometimes, you know, triple the price of this one, professing to be the best quality. And when you put this brush next to them, they look like cheap eBay brushes. It, the quality of the hair is insane. So as I say, the handle becomes the cap to protect the bristles. So all brushes come with packing gum. Um, this one doesn't come with a lot of packing gum in it, but literally all you want to do is you just want to flick um, and roll the brush between your fingers to get that packing gum out. If you don't do that, um, you'll get little gritty bits into your gel parts um you'll get gritty bits in your gel and on your application and it's just gonna look really manky so give it a good flick i carried on for much longer than this um but you get the idea give your brush a wipe with some gel, gel cleanser don't use a dehydrator because you'll dehydrate those bristles. You can see how glossy they are. And the purpose of cleansing it is just to help to, you know, tease out any of those bits of packing gum maybe in there. Don't be too harsh with the brush. You need to be firm but not vigorous, as you can see. And then you want to get the back of a sculpting form, the shiny side. And you want to pop a bit of gel on there um, as you can see I'm still wiping <laughs> um, so yeah back of a sculpting form and pop some gel on there don't use top coat <laughs> if your top coat is no wipe. So I've used some of the potted gel. My brush is clean and I'm happy. So I'm now just coating the hairs in the gel to keep them nourished. You don't want to leave your brush covered and laden in gel. You just want it to have, you know, the bristles to be coated nice and evenly. It helps it to keep its shape. And you can pop your lid on. So that is how you prepare a new gel brush. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.